Hi everybody, it's Dr. Q again. I'm here to talk to you guys today about some lower body stretches that you can do seated while you're at home, working from your home office um, or your home kitchen or dining room, living room, play area if you have kids running around, wherever it might be. But some stretches for your lower body um, that you can do in a seated position that are really easy that you can do um, as I stated in the first um, ergonomics video about how important it is to move around at least once an hour. This is something that you can incorporate in those five minute breaks that you might take. And it'll not just give you a break, but it'll also help alleviate some of the areas that cause some of that hip and um, lower back pain. So the first thing that you can do is just bring your one knee up to your chest. Again, any of these exercises or stretches, you're only going to the point where you feel a strong, um, maybe, uncomfortable stretch, but not to the point of pain, okay? So you can bring one knee up to your chest and hold it for about 30 seconds. And then the other side, same difference, hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds. And you can do three of those on each side. You could also do the same thing, except for this time, you're bringing your knee up and over toward your opposite shoulder. This, you'll feel more in your outer hip. And if it's easier for you, you can just set your foot on your chair and then just gently pull that knee over. Same thing, 30 second hold, three on each side. Um, you can also cross your leg like a number four over your, your heel, your um, ankle is going to be over your other knee and you're just going to keep your back straight. You can put your hand, I'm going to tilt this camera just a little so you can see what I'm talking about but you can put your hand on your knee and gently push down to what your available flexibility level is, okay? If you're way up here and that's a pretty uncomfortable level for you, then that's where you stay. But if you have more flexibility, you can push that down. Keeping your back straight, you're just gonna tilt forward, okay? And then you're gonna hold it there. You should feel a stretch. Whatever leg is crossed, that's the hip you'll feel the stretch in, okay? And you're gonna wanna hold that for 30 seconds. Again, you'll do that on both sides. Lean forward, nice straight back, hold it for 30 seconds. Three of those on each side, okay? Um, the next thing we can do is we can take a bit of a trunk rotation where you're just holding, placing your hand on one of your legs and rotating to the side. And you can hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds as well and three times to each side. Again, with the rotation of the spine, you want to go to what your limitations are. If you have any pre-existing conditions, make sure you take that into account, okay? Meaning if you've had any back surgeries or anything like that to um, where your medical doctor has told you not to do certain things, make sure you take the, that into account as well. Also, we'll do one more quick one. It might be a little hard to show, but I'll, I'll adjust this camera. It's just gonna be a hamstring stretch. So your leg's gonna be out in front of you. I know this is really difficult to see, so I apologize for all of the movement. So we'll go like that. Legs straight out in front of you, and then lean down. So you can see I'm leaning down, and it's stretching out the back part of my leg back in here. 30 second hold, and you'll repeat that on both sides. Apologies for the movement of the camera all over the place. Um, I hope that helps and stay tuned for more tips and advice from me. I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.